Tampa Bay Waters litigation firm announced a $21 million settlement in the class action lawsuit against manufacturers of Forever Chemicals. And tonight, 8 on your side is digging into what they found and what that money will be used for. News Channel 8's Nicole Rogers joins us now live in Tampa with the very latest. Nicole. Well, Josh, five years ago, Tampa Bay Waters board took notice into how much the Environmental Protection Agency was focusing in on these forever chemicals, anticipating that one day they might have to start throwing water, throwing money at removing those chemicals from our water supply. They decided to join the lawsuit. We have found some sites that are about at, 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 right at the level that is going to be the cap starting in 2031. Tampa Bay water officials say PFAS, also known as forever chemicals, are man-made compounds widely used since the 1940s. They say it's not uncommon to find low PFAS amounts in drinking water sources because they are slow to break down when they enter our environment. We don't use these products to actually disinfect or clean the water. It's more that if there's a fire that's put out with these products and it rains the next day, the, the water runoff will find its way into the water supply. Attorney Augie Ribeiro says in 2020, Tampa Bay Water joined a lawsuit against manufacturers, sellers, and PFAS distributors to protect Tampa Bay residents from the potential cost of removing forever chemicals from the drinking water sources and system. With the new lawsuit settlement, Tampa Bay Water will get $21 million to keep its water safe for daily use. The decision made by Tampa Bay Water to protect millions of residents was huge. Why? Because they were on this issue. They've been transparent about this issue. Tampa Bay Water helped lead the national settlement and a national awareness. 3M, a settling defendant in the lawsuit, sent in on your side a statement saying in part, quote, this agreement will benefit public water systems nationwide that provide drinking water to a vast majority of Americans without the need for further litigation by or on behalf of public water systems. It also says further 3M announced at the end of 2022 that it would exit all PFAS manufacturing by the end of 2025. Tampa Bay Water is responsible for the water in Hillsborough, Pinellas, and Pasco counties. If you live in any of those areas and you're wondering, hey, what's in my water? Head to WFLA.com for the test results. Live in Tampa, Nicole Rogers, 8 on your side.